Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Last Ronin video. And today, it comes courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys. This is a bit of an early look at their two brand new action figures, Casey Jones and the first to fall, Raphael. If you ordered them from the Walmart Collector Con, they should be arriving hopefully soon. NECA was good about getting them out instead of a long, drawn-out pre-order. Now, in terms of Casey Jones, well, that's some nice artwork right there, and Casey is one of those to fall from the storyline. I won't go into too many spoilers, but... It's definitely a nice looking figure. So it has the traditional flappy opening box. You get to check that out. And that totally looks like Walton Goggins. <laughs> That's a surprise. Now, on the back side, you're going to get some nice photos of Casey Jones as well as a write up for The Last Ronin. Again, I'll try not to go into too many spoilers, but it's been long enough. You should probably know the story by now. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure and when these eventually hit store shelves, because it is not a Walmart exclusive. They were just first to market, so eventually they will go elsewhere. Here's the barcode so you can scan it in the store. Now, the other figure will be a bit of a reissue, but it's also kind of a macabre kind of figure to be honest with you the first to fall Raphael features a lot of blood and a lot of arrows and you can clearly see all of them within the packaging now on the back side just as Casey Jones you get nice photos you get the write-up it's basically the same although this Raphael does look pretty cool and you can read up on the story here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure so thank you very much for that and here's the barcode for when this Raphael same as Casey Jones eventually hits store shelves so this is going to be an absolute blast sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee this is an early look at the brand new NECA toys straight from the last Ronin Raphael first to fall and Casey Jones here we go so now, if you're not too traumatized at this point, here are both figures outside of the packaging. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, spoilers. So, just as a heads up, but both Casey Jones and it's pretty much a given Raphael bite the dust in this storyline. With Raphael, again, you're going to see the same exact hands with this new release, except now he just has a whole heck of a lot of blood every which way. And it makes for an interesting toy, that's for sure. Now, he does come with a pair of Psy. As I've said before in the last video, with the regular standard Raphael, these are some of the best Psy to ever come with a Ninja Turtle. The head portraits, again, are going to be the exact same. Although, I will point out, I do like what they did here with the blood effect. You have a darker blood underneath and more of a kind of sort of comic book cell shade of a lighter red just to kind of enhance that tone plus you get a little bit of an articulated bandana in the back now you also get karai's katar or kunai weapon could even be a third thing whatever it's called this is what ultimately kills Raphael. now you do get a red arrow this one has a very specific place to put on the action figure we will show you all that in just a few and you get eight arrows to properly murder Raphael on your shelf. <laughs> They're all well painted. They have a little blot of blood on each of them. They're pretty cool. Pretty well done. Now, Raphael. There isn't much to say that's a whole heck of a lot different. If you have the first edition, you're going to largely see the same action figure, the same articulation, but now he's just a lot more bloodied up, which for some of you out there, you probably will dig that. And like I said, I like the blood effect that they've done, all of which has the darker to the lighter shades with a little blood splatter here and there. It creates that effect of a soon-to-die Raphael. You can even see the different head portraits. Again, they'll be the same exact head portraits, gritted teeth, and more of a yelling, screaming head. The one difference for this figure is going to be all the portholes for all the eight various arrows on his shell. He also has weapon storage, which again is the same as the last figure. It works really well. You can put the size in the back. You can even have him reach around to grab them. Down here on his calf, you'll notice a hole straight through. <laughs> 
that's going to be for the red arrow. And yes, that it looks incredibly painful. The articulation is going to be the same exact. You'll get plenty of articulation in the head, the arms, the bicep, the double joints. This is a really well-articulated figure, and I remember talking about that. Nothing I really had to heat up if at any, of this figure, so that's a nice touch. Negatoy seemingly has improved a lot on that aspect. It's not across the board just yet, but I've noticed it with the last Ronin action figures. A lot of these figures for this line really do have a lot of mobility, and nothing is ever really that stuck. However, that being said, on this leg, unfortunately, it's a little bit looser than I would like. It's nothing too crazy, but it's just something to point out. Oftentimes when moving this leg, I sort of had to push the peg back up into the upper thigh. So you may have to do the same. Other than that, it is pretty solid. Now, part of the fun of this figure is, again, murdering Raphael. So all of the portholes in the back of his shell house all of the various arrows, again, eight of them, and it's pretty easy and kind of oddly satisfying in a really dark way, especially when you put the red arrow through his calf, and there you go. There's a really bloodied up, arrowed up Raphael. Again, it's fun. It's interesting. It's sick. <laughs> But at the same time, NECA Toys has done a great job in translating what you see from comic book to action figure form. Now, with Casey Jones, which is a lot less bloodied, right? He does come with a ton of extra hands. Just like Raphael, these ones are all bandaged up. Various grips, outstretched hands, punching hands. You'll have a lot of fun swapping out all the various hands. He also comes with this alternate piece for his back. You can either have the golf bag on or you can have this piece. And it houses the two baseball bats. And they fit snugly into that. Just insert them from the bottom up. Now, to insert the pack, it simply just pegs into his back right there. Once it's on, you can't really have the golf bag on, but it is an alternate way of display. Now, with the actual head portrait with the mask... I would say, one, that's a nice touch. Two, it's painted beautifully. And three, it's just nice to have that option. You get the more comic book eyes, but the mask is on there permanently. You do get a golf bag, which is, again, really nicely painted. You're going to see some beautiful paints on the last Ronin action figures. It's just a given at this point. And it houses all of Casey Jones' traditional weapons, like a big old sledgehammer, which is done beautifully. That's really cool. And like I said, with all the extra hands that you get, he can hold all of the weapons beautifully. It really is nicely done and nicely paired to all the various weapons, like, again, the baseball bat, so you get various grips to hold everything. Those are painted nice. They all have that kind of comic book black accent marks to it. Really makes this figure pop, so you can go Goongala all day. He even has his cricket bat, which, again, the wrappings, the coloring, the effects. You can say thanks to your enemies and give them yet another. And finally, we have a hockey stick, and that, again is very befitting of Casey Jones. So again, across the board, from the hands to the paint, to the accessories, the extra head portraits, this Casey Jones is a home run. And we haven't even talked about the figure because here he is, if it may be Walton Goggins, who knows, but that is definitely pretty dang close. I love that you get the alternate removable mask. That's a nice point of displayability and it simply fits onto the unmasked Casey Jones so you can pull it off at your leisure. You can basically see the difference. It's the eyes. Now, you pull that off, you get a really cool unmasked, we'll say old man Casey Jones, older Casey Jones. I like the head portrait. It's very much a comic book look. It has that very stylistic look, which I appreciate. Again, all the paint, all the armor, everything has a nice wash to it. His shoulder pad, all the bandages, down to his, I would say, sweatpants, but they have the pockets on the back. Kind of looks like gray jeans at this point. Whatever he may be wearing, down to his boots with the peg holes, it's a solid figure. And again, the articulation is pretty solid. The only point I would say is go really easy in the shoulders. You may want to heat them up, or at the very least, just go really easy. He's got the biceps, he's got double jointed elbows, the wrists, they rock, you swap the hands, you get the idea. 
On the other side with the shoulder pad, that's something you will have to contend with. It does reduce the mobility in moving the arm up. It doesn't really flex with you, so just keep that in mind. But same exact articulation, elbows and such. Not so much an ab crunch as more of a pretty deep waist swivel. Get him kicking out, kicking off, kicking to the sides. You got double jointed knees and the feet up, down, left, right with the swivel. So again, pretty solid articulated old man Casey Jones. When you want to put the golf bag around him, it simply just slips over the head and bingo bango, you got yourself a really cool looking Casey Jones. And he pairs perfectly with all your other last Ronin figures. I would say he'll probably go better with Leonardo once I get him or once he comes out. He was also kind of part of the Walmart Collecticon. He's not an exclusive, but you get the idea. Both of them fall at some points. And that's just sad. And when you look at the prior release Raphael, so the non-bloodied to now this first to fall, yes, not much different, if at anything, except for all the portholes for the arrows and the blood, and it's going to be the same figure across the board. It just depends on how sick you are in displaying your Ninja Turtle figures. When it comes to Casey Jones and Raph compared to other releases for the last Ronin. They have sort of been creeping up with these, right? Every once in a while, you get a new figure, and it's like, okay, that's pretty much another home run. It's a really solid toy line. I got to give it to them all day. And in terms of pairing these two up with Michelangelo, I would say that, yes, in terms of the heights, the time differentials between everyone dying, and then Michelangelo making it to the point of which we get him in the story, sure, that totally works. So, that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new NECA toys, the last Ronin, Casey Jones, and the first to fall, Raphael. A lot of people have asked me with recent Ronin videos that I've done. They say, why don't you like the story? And I really don't have a, oh my God, I just can't stand it. I have grown up for the last 30 plus years with Ninja Turtles. I've seen lots of futuristic endeavors. And I have to tell you, after a while, it's kind of disheartening to consistently see the heroes, the awesomeness that you grow up with, consistently failing. From Han Solo, to Luke Skywalker, to Egon Spangler, to now the Ninja Turtles. It kind of is a drag in terms of the story. However, what's not a drag is these characters' translation into plastic form. And across the board, I will say, NECA Toys has definitely nailed it with these two. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything The Last Ronin. Again, thank you to my friends over at NECA for setting these out for the purposes of this video. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most important, remember, as I said, while it may not be the story for me in terms of a futuristic TMNT tale, I definitely prefer them to have the Puma Blues. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.